Assalamu alaikum. 6 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Sumera Kamal. The headlines first. Prime Minister has urged the nation to adopt social distancing as a precautionary measure against the threat of coronavirus. Foreign Minister has called for lifting of sanctions on Iran, enabling it to use its resources against coronavirus. Pakistan has rejected Indian attempts to twist the remarks made by Minister of State for Health at the COVID-19 video conference of SARC member countries held on Sunday last. World Health Organization has called for continuous su supply of protective equipment and diagnostic kits to countries hit by coronavirus. President says Pakistan will leave no stone unturned to eliminate terrorism from its soil. In occupied Kashmir, Modi's government has ordered implementation of 37 central laws in occupied Kashmir accomplish its agenda of usurping the disputed territory. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has urged the nation to adopt social distancing as a precautionary measure against the threat of coronavirus pandemic. Talking to senior journalists in Islamabad today, he said it is very important that people who show symptoms of coronavirus must self-quarantine them. He said the people should also limit their social gatherings for next one or two months. The Prime Minister said the situation is being monitored and tracked on daily basis to gauge its impacts. He said experiences of various countries, especially China, will be utilized to tackle the menace of coronavirus. Imran Khan said the government is fully alert and vibrant to threat and it has been decided that all federal ministers will be available on their duty during this crisis and there will not be any leave of them. The government has established the largest quarantine center at Multan Industrial Estate to keep pilgrims returning from Iran in isolation for a certain period. In a statement, Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said this quarantine center consists of 3,000 rooms. He said 1,247 pilgrims who returned from Iran have been shifted to this quarantine and every pilgrim is kept in a separate room. The foreign minister said a 50-bed hospital has also been set up to provide health facilities at the quarantine center in Multan. Meanwhile, in a tweet today, the foreign minister called for lifting of sanctions against Iran so that it can use its resources against coronavirus. The foreign minister said we must show utmost compassion at this time of such great challenge and difficulty. He said our missions abroad have established around-the-clock hotlines for Pakistani diaspora. Special Assistant on Information and Broadcasting Dr. Firdos Ashik Ewan says the protection and security of the people of Pakistan is the topmost priority of the government. In a series of tweets today, she said the government has issued guidelines for all the federal government departments and employees for 15 days. She said the officers and staff deputed on important duties will ensure their presence in the offices. However, the employees above 50 years of age have been directed to work from home. She said the employees suffering from flu, fever, or any other disease will also work from home. For those Asha Kewan said, daycare centers will be shut in offices and the women's staff having young babies have been permitted to perform their official responsibilities from home. She said all offices of public service delivery will remain closed. Pakistan has rejected Indian attempts to twist the remarks made by Minister of State for Health Dr. Zafar Mirza at the COVID-19 video conference of SARC member countries held on Sunday last. In a press statement, Foreign Office said the Indian contention of politi politicization of humanitarian issue is both misleading and mischievous. It said Minister had drawn attention to the health emergency in Indian-occupied Kashmir in the context of coronavirus and underscored the need of lifting of restrictions on communications and ensuring access to medical supplies. In making this call, Pakistan has not been alone as numerous voices from within Indian-occupied Kashmir, India and the world are echoing the same message. Pakistan's participation in the video conference of SARC member states on COVID-19 was aimed at showing solidarity with SARC members and reaffirming our abiding commitment to the regional process. The death toll from the coronavirus pandemic has risen to almost 10,000 with more than 250,000 cases in 158 countries and territories.
The death toll has soared in Europe as Italy announced another 427 fatalities, taking its total to 3,405. The European Union has closed its borders to outsiders and in many countries, restaurants and most shops have closed their doors until further notice. In the U.S. state of California, over 40 million people were put under lockdown today in the most drastic quarantine efforts to contain the fast spreading coronavirus. Meanwhile, the U.N. Sec Sec Secretary General Antonio Guterres has warned that the virus could kill millions of people if allowed to spread unchecked. World Health Organization has called for continuous support of supply of protection equipment and diagnostic kits to countries hit by coronavirus. Speaking at a briefing in Geneva, Director General Tedros Adhaman described the disease as an invisible enemy against humanity. He said that WHO has shipped personal protective equipment to nearly 70 countries, while 120 nations have received 1.5 million diagnostic kits. This is Radio Pakistan. President Dr. Arif Alvi says that Pakistan will leave no stone unturned to eliminate terrorism from its soil. He said this while talking to families of martyred Colonel Mujibur Rahman, Lieutenant Agha Muqaddas Ali Khan, Havaldar Kamar Nadeem, Sepoy Muhammad Qasim, and Sepoy Tosif on telephone who offered supreme sacrifices during operations against terrorists in Dera Ismail Khan and North Waziristan. The president prayed higher places in heaven for martyrs and commiserated with their families. He said the nation will always remember sacrifices of its martyrs. The advisor on finance, Hafiz Sheikh, has said that the government is committed to provide the exporters relief with early repayments of export rebates and GST refunds. Talking to a delegation of exporters in Islamabad today, he said we will do whatever possible to ease out the exporters. He said the GST refunds will be cleared during March and export rebates will be granted next month. Hafiz Sheikh directed Secretary Finance and Chairperson FBR to hold the meetings with the stakeholders and provide relief to the export sector as much as possible. The delegation apprised the advisor on finance about the problems faced by the exporters in the wake of coronavirus breakout. Chief Secretary Azad Jammu and Kashmir Mota, Motar Niaz Rana called on Director General Pakistan Broadcasting Corporation Amreen Jan in Islamabad today and discussed the matters relating to the upgradation of Muzaffarabad and Mirpur radio stations. During the meeting, it was decided that both Azad Kashmir Radio Muzaffarabad and Mirpur would be upgraded by installing digital AM transmitters to extend its outreach to occupied Kashmir and adjoining areas. Modi government has ordered implementation of 37 central laws in occupied Kashmir to accomplish its agenda of usurping the disputed territory through illegal annexation. The order issued by the Indian Ministry of Home Affairs has been notified in the Gazette of India along with a schedule mentioning all 37 central acts. India had also announced to divide occupied Kashmir into two union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Larak. Meanwhile, Hurriyat leaders and organizations have expressed serious concern about the well-being of illegally detained ailing chairman of Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front, Mohammad Yasin Malik. They said the Indian government will be responsible if anything untoward happened to the incarcerated leader. Who, Yasin Malik, who despite suffering from various ailments, is lodged in New Delhi's infamous Tehar jail, has announced to go on hunger strike till death from first of next month against India's authoritarian attitude. All parties who did conference chairperson Sayyid Ali Gilani, who did leaders and organizations, have appealed to the UN and international human rights organizations to take notices of the illegal detention of Yasin Malik and other Kashmiri resistance leaders. And finally, the weather. Rain, wind, thunderstorm is expected in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Upper Punjab, Kashmir, and Islamabad during the next 12 hours. However, dry weather is expected elsewhere in the country. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And also watch live streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio, Pakistan News Official.